incubating queen cells. July 22nd, I'm getting towards the end of my mating nuke, so I started cutting out queen cells and putting them in the incubator here. This is a uh, little giant professional grade egg incubator, and I currently have uh, some duck eggs in here right now. But I had a bunch of uh, queen cells that were Together and I didn't dare cut them out. When I cut them out, I uh, I put them in a double up on these frame cages. And this queen right here, this virgin queen, just came out. And the colonies that lose their virgin queens and they still have brood, I like to put new virgin queens in and try to keep them going. And these here, what you do is uh, every six hours or so, you check on an LED flashlight. You look at them in the flash in the light there with a the flashlight, and you see how close they are. When they get really dark inside, that means they're close to being ready to come out. And just keep an eye on them, and maybe you can catch them before uh, before they destroy the other ones. This one right here, I was checking my mating nukes on a regular basis, every hour, every hour or two, and the virgin queen that came out in this mating nuke. Wanted to go eat some honey first, and I managed to cut out this queen cell before she got to it. So I saved a uh, virgin queen. So if you spend a little bit of time, you can make up for the losses of your virgin queens during mating flights, okay? Thank you.